I'm Ariana Arpke and I'm going to be showing you how to use the website Impressor, which is an online site that allows you to create presentations. You start by opening your web browser and going to Impressor.com. In order to start using Impressor, you have to sign up now by clicking here, but I'm going to sign in using a previously created account. After you type in your username and password, you click login. After creating it and logging in, you will be able to start creating a new presentation by clicking create new. After loading, it will present you with the options to either start a new presentation from scratch, import a PowerPoint file, or use Impressor Express. I'm going to show you how to create a new impressor. You can start by changing the background by clicking the Master Properties button and sliding all the way to the end and changing your canvas properties. You can change the height and width of the background and also the color by clicking the box. You can choose any color you want or you can click the round color circle and make any color you want. After done, you can click close panel. Now you are able to add text by clicking the text box on the right side of your screen. It will bring up a box that says place text here. You can move the box anywhere you want. By double clicking, you are able to edit the text inside. After typing in your text, you can highlight it and change the size by clicking the up and down arrows. The color, same way you changed the color of your background. You can make it bold, italic, underlined, and you can center the text or left or right justify it. You can also align it to your canvas by clicking in these. You can left align it, center align it, right align it, all different types. And you can also change the transparency of it by clicking the up and down arrows. After creating your text, you can now use the other tools. You can add shapes by clicking the shape box. If you you can either choose from a circle, a square, triangle, or a star. You are also able to fill in the color or change that outside color. You're gonna change the thickness of the outside and also align it or make it transparent. Another tool you can use is creating a table. You just click on the table button. You can move your table any way you want. Then you can edit it by changing the number of rows, the number of columns, and the cell border and the border color. You are also able to align and make it transparent. And then you can double click in each box and type in whatever you wish. And you are also able to change the text by highlighting it and using the same options as before. Another option you have is to create a chart. You just click the chart button, and once again you're able to move it. Then you have the option of making a bar chart, a column chart, an area chart, a line chart, or a pie chart. Then you can choose a show legend, or show drop shadow, or show data tips. Then you can edit the data by clicking this button here. So you want this one to be green, and this one to be yellow. 
and that one to stay orange. Then you can enter what each item is. Then you can change what each item means. And then change the amount of how much you wanted to represent in your pie chart. When you're done, you can click apply. <coughs> Here you can also align it to a certain position on your screen. Now to insert pictures, you go down to the bottom and click upload pictures. You can browse from your pictures you already have stored on your computer. I'm going to open up the Nike symbol. After clicking it, it will automatically bring it up. And I can drag it and drop it onto my page. When I'm done choosing all of the images I'd like, I click Close Panel. And here, I can change the size of the thing, of the image. I can move it anywhere I want. I can also click slide background which will change it in into my whole background. Okay. After you're done making your presentation, you can go up to file and click save, save as or save and publish which means it will publish it to the website and anybody can look at it. You can also add what kind of topic it is. You can add a description. And you can tag it. Then when you're done, you click submit. And it asks you, would you like to publish this presentation? You can click yes or no. Then it'll ask you if you would like to make it public, private, or private with a password, which means only certain people can look at it if they have a password. I'm going to leave this one public. Then it'll tell you your po your presentation has been saved.